Electric motorcycles are revolutionizing the way we think about two-wheeled transport. With zero emissions, lower operating costs, and impressive torque, they offer a thrilling and eco-friendly riding experience. From sleek urban commuters to high-performance sport bikes, the electric motorcycle market is expanding rapidly, showcasing cutting-edge technology and innovative designs. Whether you're a seasoned rider or a newcomer, there's an electric motorcycle out there to suit your needs and preferences. Let's explore some of the best options available today. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the electric motorcycles of 2025, featuring cutting-edge technology and impressive range that will transform the way you ride. Buckle up and let's dive into the latest and greatest in electric trikes. Number 6 Zero DSRX The Zero DSRX has some great features for beginner to intermediate off-road riders. For example, its high-tech data monitoring utility promotes rider control by measuring dynamics during braking and acceleration. The bike has linked braking, which corrects tire slippage and vehicle hold, preventing rollback on steeper inclines. It's also claimed as the first bike to get Bosch off-road motorcycle stability control. It has an upright stance and high clearance for off-road comfort. What could be more beginner-friendly is the bike's weight, coming in at 544 pounds. Zero Software Cypher Plus offers turn-by-turn -turn navigation and battery capacity information. The bike's strong off-road components include almost 7.5 inches of Showa suspension travel and seat heights from 31.7 to 34.1 inches. The DSRX has 166 lbft of torque and 100 horsepower. Number 5 KTM Freeride EXC. The KTM Freeride is not road legal but it's a great electric bike for off-road and dirt riders. It's the first electric KTM to arrive in the US, and because it's not geared toward the road, KTM was able to bend a few rules with this cool machine. It doesn't have a massive range or a jaw-dropping top speed, but it does have a fast charging time. You can take it out for 90 minutes of hard riding, recharge it to full capacity in 110 minutes, and head out again. The Freeride EXC is powered by a lightweight 260 volt, 3.9 kilowatts lithium-ion battery pack. It's a small motorcycle capable of a power output of 24.5 horsepower and 31 lbft of torque, and it's suitable for real off-road thrashing. The EXC does not have a clutch and comes with only one gear, which might be a little too alien for traditional motorcyclists. However, if you're looking for something unusual to hit the trails on and don't care for any on-road accoutrements, then this Emoto should be your electric bike weapon of choice. Number 4 Italian Volt Lacoma. The Lacoma is positioned at the high end of the luxury spectrum. The company claims that each unit will be tailored to individual customers. While details are currently limited, here's what's known. The motorcycle will be offered in five different bodywork styles, with a top speed of 111 miles per hour and a maximum range of 124 miles. It can be recharged to 80% in 40 minutes and will be compatible with a wide range of charging systems. The Lacoma may not be the fastest or have the longest range, and it weighs 540 pounds, but as a tailor-made electric bike, it offers a different appeal to riders. While standard Zero models are affordable and practical, the Italian Volt Lacoma is rumored to start at $338,000. This may seem expensive, but when compared to the likes of the Lito Sora, it's considered a bargain, especially considering the high-quality suspension, Brembo brakes, bespoke parts, and custom bodywork that are on offer. Number 3 Tachita T-Cruise Urban Tachita is a company worth paying attention to, especially because they are one of the few electric bike manufacturers that have listened to potential customers' complaints. Tachita has been developing electric motorcycles with clutches and gear shifters. One of their recommended models is the T-Cruise electric bike, which stands out as it is a cruiser-styled motorcycle. This bike is powered by an electric asynchronous three-phase induction motor capable of 59 horsepower and 72 lbft of torque, has a range of 70 to 130 miles, and features an actual five-speed gearbox. Additionally, it includes a reverse gear. The battery can be charged to 80% in approximately 90 minutes, but it requires about 7 hours to reach 100% when using a 220-volt socket. In terms of performance, the T-Cruise also comes with adjustable suspension, Brembo brakes, Metzeler Marathon tires, and an adjustable riding position thanks to movable foot pegs. Number 20SR. The Zero SR is a versatile utility tool. 
It's not the fastest or the most expensive, and it may not have the coolest look, but in real-life situations, the Zero SR is one of the most useful electric motorcycles out there. You can easily find and purchase one, as Zero is a trusted name. In terms of performance, it boasts roughly 70 horsepower and 122 lbft of torque from the motor, a top speed of 124 miles per hour, 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 3.3 seconds, and a useful range of 223 city miles. The Zero SR also stands out for its practicality, as it can be fully charged in 3 hours, making it a genuinely practical electric motorcycle option. Number 1 Harley Davidson Livewire When people hear the term, electric Harley, they take notice. Surprisingly, a company known for its distinct loud and rugged Harley vibe is now moving towards electric bikes. In 2024, Harley-Davidson released the Live Wire, which boasts 105 horsepower, 86 lbft of torque, and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3 seconds. It also claims a top speed of 110 miles per hour and a maximum range of approximately 146 city miles. The Live Wire is equipped with impressive technology, including electronic brake control, chassis control, and powertrain technology to aid with acceleration and braking. Its permanent magnet electric motor provides instant 100% torque, resulting in exhilarating acceleration. The bike offers seven ride modes, allowing riders to customize their experience by adjusting power regeneration, throttle response, and traction control. It comes with four pre-programmed modes, Sport, Road, Range, and Rain, as well as three customizable modes. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment, and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so you never miss out on our latest videos.